Woods. Uh, just a reminder, if we can keep it one to two questions, that would be awesome so we can get through everyone. Dash, go ahead. Hey, Jay, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, just, just, just first of all, uh, getting back to Sunday, I mean, closing out the game uh, like you did, what did that do for your confidence? Um, it raised it just a little bit. I feel as if, like, I have more work to do um, just getting my secondary pitches to perfection also. Mm -hmm. I mean, it did do a lot in my confidence, so I'll say that for sure. Yes. And just real quick, uh, you know, first couple of weeks, I don't know, if, I'll, I'll kind of get you to speak about, uh, for the rest of the true freshmen. Uh, how, how much uh, of, of, a, of a deal was it where y'all were, I won't say intimidated, but, but kind of pitching to the name on the on the jersey, so to speak, as, as opposed to just going at the guys and not being concerned about that? Y'all feel like as a, a group, y'all kind of settling down a little bit as far as uh, what y'all are doing against the, against the SEC teams? Oh, 100%. I feel as if, like, as we go week by week, we get more and more comfortable with who we're throwing with. We get more accustomed to the, to the SEC because I will say the SEC is very different than anything else. Um, some of the hardest hardest pitch, hardest pitch hitters I've had to face, um, I don't really pay – personally, I don't really pay attention to the name on their – on mm -hmm. the back. Um, I just attack them and, and play my game because I feel as if I'm here for a reason. But I feel like with everyone else also – with everyone um, just pitching each week, they're getting more and more comfortable. And by the end of time, I feel like we'll be really good. Oh, thanks, man. Sure. Next, we'll go to Mark Weiser. Hey, Jaden. Um, you were committed to Georgia State at one point. Is that right? Yes, sir, I was. Tell, tell me about, um, you know, was it immediate uh, to, to flip to Georgia when you had that opportunity? Or, or, or you know, what went through your thought process there? Um, when I decommitted, um, I didn't really have a set plan of where I wanted to go. I was just going to kind of let everything fall into place. Um, but I did start started, um, pitching in a travel ball tournaments and just like regular recruiting, it happened. I guess I got to go through the process again. And I'm um, just with Georgia being my number one school always ended up coming to Georgia. You say that, I mean, did, did you grow up a, a Georgia fan and then, you know, kind of what, what was the groundwork for that? Yes, sir. I did grow up a Georgia fan. And also, uh, I'll never forget one day, um, I was about, uh, I'll say 10, 11 years old. Um, my mom had came to Athens for the day just to hang out. And she had came back home. And she was like, I, I really want you to be a dog. So it was. Yeah. Thank you. For sure. Right. Next, we'll go to Palmer Toons and then Jed May. Yeah, Jaden, what is the feeling around the locker room about getting Coach Strickland back this weekend? Um, and, and what do you think that y'all have been missing without him? Um, I'll say with, without Coach Strick, I feel like we've missed um, not necessarily the, the dog we have in us, but we we haven't played as best as we could play. Um, I feel like with Strick being back, um, we'll, we'll go even harder just because we have our, our coach back. We have who does everything, who talks to the umpires, who helps us, who, who runs the whole show. We'll have him back, so we'll be, we'll be up to date, ready to go. Hey, Jaden, um, kind of a random uh, question here, but I wanted to ask you about, it looks like a game that the pitchers play, you know, before games start, whether it's kind of like a hot potato deal, throwing the ball back each other. Just do you ever participate in that? Kind of what's what's um, the story there? Who's the best at it? You know, give me give me the lowdown on it. I would definitely say Darren Pasquale is the best at the game. Um, whenever we're playing, well, whenever they're playing, he's always the last the last man standing. Um, him usually in Logan Moody. Um, I never really participate in the two ball. I don't really like playing games before before games. I like to kind of just chill, get my mind right. So, Thank you. Yes, sir. Right, next, we'll go to Davis Baker and then Ramin. Oh, yeah, Jaden. It seems like you've, you know, kind of been put into that Sunday reliever role at this point. Is that a position that you want to be in? Is that something you like doing? Um, yes, sir. <laughs> um, it's It's grown on me a lot. I didn't really like it at first, but now that like I've gotten accustomed to it, I kind of do like it. Um, I feel as if like it's more of like a a split role, I guess you could say. Um, just coming in after Johnny, doing what I have to do to put my team in the best situation to win. So, yes, sir. Kind of bouncing off of Davis and Baker, Jaden. Um, you you talked about kind of um, how you want to go and do your own stuff and attack each hitter individually, not noticing the names on their back. Um, but is there a different feel in a midweek game versus a weekend series you get to watch, you know, by the time you come in in the Sunday afternoon, you have you've seen two and a half other games. Um, do you glean some more information or do you kind of build up a mental model of hitters by the time you get in the game on Sundays? Oh uh, yes, sir. For sure. Um, 
usually our well midweek games compared to weekend games, I'll say we come with the same intensity, but I don't think with with the mindset of it, I kind of don't think going with the same mindset just because on the weekend we're well now that we're in conference, every game matters. Um, especially like uh, Coach Kenny always brings up the RPI, um, that's very important as well. Um, but as a whole, I think I think that will be will be pretty good. Um, but the with the weekday and, and midweek, I'll say we, the, the weekends are more, most definitely more important for sure. And then we'll finish up here with Chip Towers. Yeah, Jaden, uh, just real quick on on Coach, real quick. It, you know, he it thought he was coming back at, at College Station, and then it ended up uh, taking a little bit longer. It, at any point, did you guys start get uh, you know pretty concerned? Um, yes, sir. Um, when he said his his fever spiked, um, everyone was kind of just like looking around, like, "Oh, what's what's going on?" But we knew we, we knew for a fact that he would be okay with the, with the strong fight he has in him. He would be fine for sure. And, and you touched on this, but what are some of the things where where a head coach like that makes a difference? Uh, uh, yelling at umpires. Uh, Little pointers when you come off the field. How do you miss his presence when he's not there? Um, well, usually during games he'll stay in the same spot and um, just yeah. looking down that spot. And he's not there. It's just I, it's kind of weird, but also we know we have to. We know he's watching the game, and we know that he's still rooting us on. So we're still going to play to the best of attempt to play at the best of our ability to make him happy and to, to represent Georgia the best we can.